Hello and welcome back. Oh, so we gotta find the main guy of all these dwarves. Uh, and maybe he's here. I don't know. I don't know about this question mark. Uh, some shrine. Sacrifice food at the altar. How did they kind of did that and uh -huh. didn't do anything? Uh, so... We just gotta find this big dwarf guy. And apparently the quest, the reward we get... Is also... Interesting. Aimed at a dwarf. Only dwarf can use it. It seems like we're probably gonna have a dwarf. Responsible for that battle out there, aren't you? Are they? Are they gone? Companion. Yes. I'm guessing you're miners. Do you know if these dwarves have a leader? Oh yes, they do. He's the one who ordered to lock us in here and then turn tail when he heard the battle. I suppose you have a score to settle with him too, don't you? Can you get us out of here once you have? He probably still has the key to this cage. I'll see what I can do. What? Hang tight. You think I can bust out the... I can bust you out of this damn cage? Are you kidding me? Over here? Stay close. Hmm. What's this? Yes. Lead on. The earth shall crumble beneath. Oh, uh, what the hell? Yes. Let me up. quick. Okay, I, I got too many guys here. Um, you go. Hmm? You guys go over there. Lead on, then. I'm gonna look at this barrel thing. What do we have here? Uh, fine, take it. Let me just go in. Everybody, go inside. I have maybe too many guys. And even like this, we're only using half the pop. Oh, Just like Draycott, the mine is in a state of ruin. Carefully stacked ore chests and barrels have been broken open and plundered. Shovels and pickaxes lie scattered on the ground. Once you have it all set up, this game is actually quite convenient to, to control. Uh... And there's a lot to press, so... Damn. Makes me realize that I kinda miss strategy games. <laughs> Real-time strategy games. Oh! I guess we're not gonna need that big... big army that we left outside. Uh, I do have the heroes highlighted now, it can be turned off. No, that's not the one. <laughs> um, this is the one. Here we go. I suppose it might be harder to tell them apart if we go like this, but it's easier to see them, so... H key. Oh, you. of course. Yes, General. Me. I have to hand it to you. For a gravelly to your fucking tenacious. Time for answers. Wait, what? Did I fuck up something? I may have made a mistake. <laughs> okay, user interface. Real quickly. Key maps. Do we have something like for conversation options? That I may have. Come on. Where are the one, two, three? Okay, let, let's just see what's gonna happen here. Alright, we want answers. What's the meaning of this? Why are you attacking your own kind? And who in blazes is Arrakis? So you've heard. Fine, I'll tell you. Arrakis, he is the one who will restore our kingdom to its former glory. Restore? Windholm is better off than it has been in centuries. Materially, maybe. Not as a people. We've become weak. Dwarves who live in the sunlight, who mingle with surface folk and defile our blood. Men who don't know which end of an axe to hold. If things don't change, our people will soon be no more than a bunch of degenerates living under the thumbs of their wenches and human masters. An empire of weaklings, of gravel eaters, 
Arrakis reminded us of what we once were. The Granite Sons. Men like stone. Powerful. Impregnable. Everlasting. Uh, not, not quite true, Mr. Dwarf, is it? So it seems like we have a, a, a problem here. Uh, nothing I can fix. Just real quickly, we're gonna fix it. Uh, I know my control scheme might look a little crazy, but it makes sense. Oh, actually, there was no problem here whatsoever. Only the... Only the, the keys were shifted. Uh, never mind that, you're ridiculous. I guess we can have zero as the last one. We can think of it as ten. Uh, you're ridiculous. I kind of put it at the the in, in front. That that was uh, that is why we had a problem. Gump is a rock. You sound like a fanatic. What are you trying to do here? You're ridiculous. You're living in old times. Are you even listening to yourself? You sound ridiculous. <laughs> You've a big mouth. Why don't you repeat that after I crush your teeth with this axe right here? But how does Moon Silver fit into all this? That is why you're here, isn't it? The same reason why you raided our caravan. You learn fast, Gravel Eater. Aye. This is about the Moon Silver. For a monument, to be more precise. A symbol of this new era. But enough talking. Let's finish what we started last time. Really? Just give the word. This way. Run away. What in the blazes? Move. Go away. Fuck, I should really save. That it? Get ready. Is that the best you can do? I really hope he's not gonna AoE. Now, charge! You know it. So it must be. Take him out. Move in. Fair enough. Let's right, do big this. dwarf man. Is that all? Is that all? Well, it seems to be enough for now. Now, charge! Oh no, more guys like this. How could we ever deal with them? I need help over here. Try to keep up. They killed one of our no. heroes. No, that's not good. Maybe I should use healing potions ever. Over here. Oh. He Come Let's on. help her out. No! Please. Oh. That. Uh. Yes. Oh, oh my god, that's not good. Out Go away. away! Keep it up. Mm -hmm. Let's be quick. That was uh, well positioned. What? Go away! Oh no. We, we really need a tank. Come together for a heal. Look at that heal, that's so stupid. Sure. Where are we going? Oh wait. Oh she can't drink a potion again. Sounds like yes. a plan. Yeah. I love heals. If only we had another healer. We would never have to worry about a damn thing. Also, if he had a tank. Sure. I suppose this is a bit more defensive, and now we have above average damage. That way? But still. This is it. Damn it. Healing now. Uh, well. What? Well Don't let him run away! Human. Boy, Nihar. Rugram. What's the meaning of this? Oh, well. Here he comes. You know this man? That's my brother, goddammit. Rugram, what in blazes is the meaning of this? Get away from me! 
You're a gravel eater just like them. Or did you think I forgot about that elf you mingled with? What? This man is the leader of the Windholm Dwarves, Haratir. He led the attack on your town. What? But... Gravel no longer. We are of granite, human. Mark my words. We'll take back what's ours. A terrible rune. Never gets old. I... I don't know what to say. How many times I do have to fight that guy? Next time, someone jump him. It's over now. Well, it's over. Draycott is free. Oi. But at what cost? Did you at least get the information you came here for? Why are they doing this? It's a long story. That's me. Not that long. You could have just said they're this stupid. This is madness. This is just madness. Uh, I don't think we can do more here. How do you feel about this? I don't care! Well, I don't think there's much more the Wolfgar can do. Draycott is free and we got the information we wanted. Unless we can assist you with anything else, we should prepare for our journey back to Greyfell now. We'll manage. Safe travels, General. And thank you. I wish things would have turned out differently, but you saved the town. And that's what matters. <laughs> and then so. Yes. All right, let's go back up. We built a new the journey home. New empire. Yeah. Though we might want to free those prisoners back in the town first. Oh. <laughs> uh, sure. I guess. Sounds like a plan. Why didn't we free them? Or I had some I fire giant guy. Can he break? Uh the stretch of land between the border of Hallet and the rugged mountain home of the dwarves is known as the Windwall Outskirts. The mining towns in this region serve as vital trading hubs, with traders coming from all across Fiara to barter for precious moon silver. It is said that a hundred sheep could not buy a pinch of pure moon silver. Though perhaps that is a tale spun by the hard bargaining dwarves themselves. Exactly. Basically, what this guy wants is money. He wants what he wants, just some dwarves in power, and he needs money to do it. That's a very, <laughs> it's a very simple formula right there, Mr. Dwarf. This way. So, we bust these guys out because apparently it was not possible to bust them out uh, on the way in. You're free to go, but first, I have some questions. I do? Uh, do you know a woman named, uh, Yerfina? No particular reason, just I ask this from everyone. I'm looking for information about a woman named Jerfina. Jerfina? You know her? Yes, of course. She's the reason we're alive. Um, she is? What happened to her? What happened to her? I don't know, I'm sorry. She realized before anyone else that the soldiers weren't there to save us. She convinced us to run. Blazes, we would have been too worried about our belongings if not for her. She didn't go with you? No, she stayed behind to help others escape. If you find Daniel, you could ask him. He's the last one who saw her. Oh, well, where is he? He's not here. He ran off when the Windhomers started rounding everyone up. He's a smart lad. Probably hid somewhere to avoid capture. Okay, I'll find him. Farewell. Uh, wait, Wolfgard. I don't know why you care about Jerfina, but you should know she was a good person. Kind. But even if she did manage to escape, she wouldn't have had long. She had the early symptoms of the blood burn. I see. Thank you for telling me. Um, I just go again. No, no, no. That's all. That's all for now. Stay safe. Stay safe. Mm. So, she has bloodburn. Need me? Erga. Make it good. Haratir. What's this? Go ahead. Is it the shrine? What kind of rewards we can get? This is for the. Let's get armors. Oh my god, we're getting attacked. 
Move in. This is Finally, it. Finally, some action. Out oh, look at that. Yeah. Someone built the dwarf Toss empire. The off here you. we go. All right. Here goes nothing. Who's over here? Wait. Okay. Really? Some secret uh, prison that I didn't know anything about when I was uh, conquering this land. <laughs> yeah, like that's kind of silly. Like I, I built a whole empire in like ten minutes, and they're like, eh, "Yeah, thanks for helping mm. us up a little bit." That storage looks like it would be a good hiding place. Yeah, locked. Daniel, are you in there? Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm General Araf. The Windholm Dwarves have been dealt with. It's safe to come out now. Royals? Voices? Okay, I'll unlock the door. Well, there's no way anyone could have uh, got in. He had the door well, locked. I can't remember how long I was in there. So, you're a general, huh? The others, are they... They're fine. The Windholmers are gone. Oh, thank the Guardians. I heard the fighting earlier. I told Iban it wasn't safe to stay in the town, but he insisted it was fine. So, why are you here? What do you want? I'm looking for information about Jorfina. The others said you were the last one who saw her. Oh, yes, I was with her. We were making our way out of the village when some rubble fell on her. I swear, I heard the soldiers chasing us, and there wasn't any time, so I... You left her behind. Look, I... I had to, right? General Noria's soldiers were on our heels, and they would have killed us both if I'd stayed with her. And no, I'm not proud of what I did. I pray every day for the Guardian's forgiveness. How long ago was this? Can't leave women behind. Also, your hiding place is a joke. Look at this. You have a gate. Well, it just bars and, you know, you can't see through it. With like two inviting statues in the front. Like, I don't know how far away this is, but if anyone ever comes remotely near this, they're gonna check you out for sure. Like, look at this place. I, I don't know what would have I done. I, I don't know. Like, this doesn't... Maybe this is a desperate hiding place. At least I would have... I don't know. I don't know. This seems like a no-go. Like, hiding in that tree, tree trunk would make more sense. Right? Then try to hide here because people are gonna they'll be thinking oh my god what is this is this a tomb is someone hiding in here and uh yeah that that hiding place i'm really amazed that it worked out but of course the door was locked and that is it's completely impregnable uh it can't it's just it's just impossible to get him uh why tell me the truth yeah well i guess I don't want to discourage it. You did what you had to do. You did what you had to do in the moment to survive. No one can fault you for that. Can't they? I keep telling myself that it was better this way. She had the blood burn, you know. We all saw what happened to its victims. So she would have died either way. Yes. And yet, knowing that doesn't make me feel any better. Why do you want to know about her anyway? Uh, I'm, I'm a little foggy on that. Oh yeah, uh, her brother. I can I, I lo a tiny bit forgot about that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ultimately, there's no point uh, dwelling on the past. What happened happened. If you wanna make it up to her and she's not dead, uh, I guess you can become her her, her servant till the day as she dies. Uh, seems fair. Her brother needs uh, closure. None of your business? No, 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 let's go with that. Her brother asked me to find out what happened to her. All he wants is closure. So that's why he sent that tracker after us. Well, tell him she died a hero. The blood burn, the rubble, he doesn't need to know that. What matters is she saved us. I'll keep that in mind. Right. Anyway, I should go find the others. Thanks again for saving us from the Windholmers. Guardians watch over you, General. I'm listening. Wait, what? Is that it? Well, at least the ambassador will get some closure. Are you going to tell him the full story? Sometimes the truth digs deeper wounds. I'll think about it. But also, we're just taking the word of this guy. What if he just made it all up? He's obviously insane. He hid in that... Uh, I don't even know how to 
even describe that. Like, that cannot be described as a hiding place. That that just like ha says like I'm a crazy person on it. Anyone who's there, like I couldn't imagine that there's some kind of tomb, maybe, but like hiding there. All right, what about you? Hmm. Maybe have a chat. What's this? Anything you need? Um, I think this is so long. Aye. What about you? Knee half guide your sword, General. Uh, thanks for that. So we gotta go back to the Queen and tell her, guess what? Uh, I'm nothing like the Har. War after war has scarred Fiara, altering the tides of power across much of the continent. In Nortender, a fragile hope for peace drives the efforts to rebuild a ravaged kingdom. A new beginning dawns for the Moorhir, as their new settlement finally takes shape, while the orcs realize the dream of the great Cal in Bargagor. The dwarves carry on in their stronghold below the mountains, and the exalted father rules quietly over the dark elven swamps. It is an era of change, of redefining the old and discovering the new. Well, that's great. Let's just go back. Slowly. What's up with this map? Oh, do I need to just click on it? Yeah. Ray keep King's Vantage. Uh, I guess we have to talk with the, the well about the lost sister first. Yeah, let's just go there and the we can probably enter the throne room is uneventful. from outside anyway. At the nightly campfires, you overhear your men discussing the events of your mission. While there is anger and disbelief, there is also something else: fear. Only three years have passed since the last war. You can't allow another. Hmm. Well, sure. Like, I'm not really war crazy, but... I'm not sure how I'm, I'm gonna stop it. Or do we really deal with that, other than that crazy dwarf? Well, we should probably kill that guy. Okay. This probably means that we should kill that crazy dwarf. But on that, I'm doing a good job. Even though I can never live up to the... The reputation of, of Tahar. Wait, where's the guy? Is he inside? How much money I got? Armors and shields, everything from copper daggers to moon silver swords. A fair offer. But the best wares from Kalea to Northander. Over here. Do I want to buy anything? I got some money. Uh, not a lot of money. I don't have a lot of stuff either. What do we have here? Axes, daggers, swords, everything for the wary traveler. And this is like a mage. Twenty-eight thousand gold for the one of everything amulet. Yes, yes. Come closer. I'm sure I have just what you need. This is. Exactly like mine. Increased attack speed, yeah. Okay, that is slightly, maybe slightly better than mine. Mine has higher range. It's kind of basically identical. Rare dexterity thingy. I don't know. You know maybe we got a new character. That would yes. be nice. A dwarf, because we have dwarven stuff here. Not this. This is dwarf only. Although it doesn't say. All these armors are dwarf only. And, uh, wow, that's pretty good. So, that's what I'm hoping for. A con 9 plate armor that I can put on the tank. So this is what I want. I should probably select it, but Keep it, up. it doesn't really matter to select it now. That's the only thing that I, I really want. Uh, yeah, I'll just go into the, the throne, throne room. Hall, the inviolable inner sanctum of Greykeep. Here lies Nortender's seat of power, the seat from which her sovereign strikes accords and passes judgment. There is a certain hush to the cavernous hall and its many passages, 
as if the legacy of kings and... All right. Time to report to Her Majesty. That's right. So... And also, I kind of helped out... Did I really help out the ambassador? I'm, I'm a little bummed that Yuri is not with me, but I'm gonna tell him the story. Oh. Wait, what? Restore Windwall to its former glory. This is worse than I thought. I don't get it. <laughs> and the people actually buy into this rubbish? I am not surprised. King Rorik was never popular. He was a bad ruler, volatile and cruel. It is not half as bad as this Arrakis makes it out to be, but Windholm did suffer under him. It is only logical to long for a savior after a period of hardship. I see. Uh... Well, we're not gonna wait around for the dwarves to figure this out. We gotta figure this out. No, no, we're not gonna wait. Wait is not a strategy. We need to stop this priest. Wherever this priest is, we need to stop him. He's dangerous. Hold on, General. Windholm isn't our responsibility. Shouldn't we let the dwarves resolve this matter on their own? Draycott was the second time they have attacked Nortander, and it might not be the last. I will think on the matter. Either way, you did well, General. There is one more matter I want you to look into for your proving, and it's of equal importance. Skadar? Sure, I'll make it short. I believe that the entity Romgar Lacane mistook for Aeonir is attempting to re-enter our world. The God of Light. You don't sound too surprised. I had a suspicion. Anyway, please keep going. Of course. General Erev, have you ever heard of the Tapestry of Souls? No. It's a <gasps> pattern. Every sentient creature has a spark of magic, a flame linked directly to the Archfire, the essence of life. I've noticed a change in this pattern. An irregularity, if you will. Okay. Don't keep us waiting, obviously. Uh, the audience is very interested in this. What kind of irregularity did you observe? Hard to describe. In keeping with the metaphor, if every living being is a flame, then the entirety of life would be millions of lights in darkness. Lately, lights are dying out in a strange pattern. Entire clusters all at once. You can just tell me that people are dying. What makes you think the God of Life has anything to do with this? Yes. And what makes you think these vanishings have anything to do with the God of Light? Well, that's hard to describe to a layman. Roughly put, they are similar to what happened in the Tapestry of Souls when Rondar Lacane opened the tear back in the Purity Wars to let the God of Light into our world. It was like... something shifted. But while that shift was like an earthquake back then, these vanishings feel like little tremors. That sounds very vague. No offense, but that sounds a bit... esoteric. It's not, though. Back then I felt that shift too. And it's true that something's been... off since a couple of months now. If it eases your skepticism, the mages of the Greyfall University shared a similar concern with us recently. I would not pursue this if I considered it nonsense. Something is happening, and so far... Skadar is the only one with a trail. Well, I'm not a wizard. Fancy pants here. But the, it does sound like nonsense. But I'll, I'll kill them, wherever they are. Let me summarize. You think the God of Life is returning to our world? Is this what we're talking about here? Fair enough. Let me summarize. You think the God of Light is planning a return into our world, and it shows through an... Uh, an irregularity in the Tapestry of Souls? That's correct. And you're here because you want to stop him. I took the liberty to assume that's what we all want, so yes. But if you need another incentive to pursue this, I think finding the cause of the Vanishings can also help the Crown to put another matter at rest. Tahar's death. How? Well, Tahar was killed while investigating rumors of disappearances around small villages, correct? As it happens, I only recently observed another occurrence of this soul vanishing in a village in Lar, 
The Dark Elven Realm. You think Tahar's death and these vanishings are connected? It's a possibility. Even if there is no connection, Skadar is right. Investigating this threat is in all our interests. General Aref, you and the Wolf Guard will examine this recent case of the soul vanishing in Lar. Try to find out what is behind this, and whether it is indeed connected to the God of Light, or maybe even to Tahar. Wraith Skadar and his mercenaries will accompany you. Mercenaries? The Black Company. What? The Black Company? Also, what is this nonsense? Tahar is obviously not dead. He cannot die. Uh, what is the Black Company? I guess... We have a lot of questions to play dumb. What is the Black Company? Dark Elven ex-military. They are new on the market. But for what it's worth, their leader is an acquaintance of mine, so I know they are reliable. The village is about a week's journey from here, so you and the company will set out as soon as possible. Go there and find out what happened. This audience is concluded. Okay, so do we have access to more guys now? Uh, yeah, b about the, the, the thing you wanted me to look into. General, did you have any luck tracking down those survivors? I did. They knew your sister. And? Do they know what happened to her? Um, she was a hero. She was strapped beneath rubble trying to escape. They didn't know. She was a hero. She died helping them escape. Even when some of them made it out, she stayed behind to try to help others. <laughs> that sounds like her. She really is gone, then. You were hoping she was still alive? No. Well, maybe. You never know until you know, right? I guess that's what hope is sometimes. Wishing when it doesn't make any sense. It's only a delusion if you're wrong. Thank you for this, General. <laughs> Knowing she saved people, oh, it helps. Oh, please excuse me now. I need some time. Of course. I'm sorry for your loss. Nice. Thank you. TR is light, General. It worked. We could have just done nothing and, and told him that, hey, I saw your sister. It's, uh, she's, she's just a hero. Just wait, just to sell the story. Anyway, we need to head out. Uh, I don't have access to more companions, and I'm about to level up as well. What? Yes, we are 10 XP short of leveling up. Holy crap. What is this? Beasts in the wood. Oh, that's not the one. Lost sister. You can get the money. 20 shield amulet, that's garbage. Auto attacks gain uh, holy damage. Ten focus, 50 health. Wow, oh, these are lackluster. Bastion of Triumph, Courage and Valor. Um. Wow, Whirlwind? Savage Whirlwind. So this could be good if you're Whirlwinding. Uh, sure. So, boost some skills. Maybe the Tam Focus one is the least garbage? I'm looking at the, the cost of these items and it seems like this is the least bad. If you're, if you're just not taking the money. Overall, this looks very questionable. I'm kind of tempted to take the money. And use it for something. I don't know. Out of the Again, way. indecisive. Stay close. Big whooping surprise. Can we just leave the map? I don't know. Maybe I want to spread out some points before we head out. Oh, oh my god. I got two ability points, but we still can't put a point into Ricochet. I can upgrade my Impaling Shot to a Debilitating Shot. Is gonna knock back enemies and stun them. That's still a good ability, I suppose. Yeah, what? Yeah, you need to cast this. And then you can use it to heal yourself. Three seconds. Still, like, do you really want to bother with that? I don't know. Well, we can always just up our crit chance 
uh, by a lot here and up our damage by a lot again also we can get some uh, attacks can bounce thing but I think that's just basic attacks again you can spend a lot of time here what, what I want is ricochet because that's well it's a projectile based not dexterity based one but like it should be good so it should help us to clear uh, groups Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.